Hey guys, I'm Codemeister, and it's time to code. And welcome to my Lua tutorial number one. We will be setting up our program, which today we'll be using Replit and learning about strings in Lua. But wait, if you're new to Codemeister and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button for more content. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. So, we're going to start off by going to Replit. And creating an account in Replit is simple as pressing sign up and signing up with Google, GitHub, or Facebook. Signing up with GitHub will give you lots of cool opportunities. For example, over here I'm logged in in my Replit account and I can see all of my GitHub repos. I can go and find one of my repos. Press it and press import from GitHub. And what's going to, it's going to start cloning my GitHub repo. Super cool. And now it has all of the code from my GitHub repo and it sees that it's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. All I have to do is press run and it'll have my GitHub repo here to play on Replit. So cool and amazing. Now in Replit, there are so many languages that you can do. Python, Lua, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js, C, Java, Ruby. There are so many things that you can do with Replit. We're going to start by creating a new Lua tutorial, and we can name it whatever we want. Time to start coding. So, to print something in Lua, it's as simple as typing print and whatever you want. And then we can press run. And over here, hello world. Super cool. Now another way that you can print something is by typing io.write. Super, super cool. Now, today we're going to be focusing on one data type called a string. To create a string in Lua, all you have to do is create a name for it and give it a value. Now, to print the screen, string, all we do is type print and the name of our string. And now we're printing the name. Now we printed the, the string. To figure out how many characters are inside the string, all we have to do is type hashtag. And say there's 32 characters in this string including all of the spaces. To figure out what type of data type this is, if you didn't know, I have your type type. It will tell you that it is a string. Super cool. Now, 
we see here that hello world and hello world and the string are next to each other. It's kind of me it's kind of ticking me off. Now to create a space next to this string and this hello world, all I have to do is type slash n. And now we see that there is a space in between them. Now I want to create a string that has multiple spaces, like, but it gives us an error. To create a string that has multiple spaces, it's as simple as two brackets. So we can create hello, hello again. Hello. And now I'll just room this type and it'll print. Hello. Hello again. Hello the third time. And goodbye. That'll be it for this first little tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.